Bulgarian language, Wikipedia article audio. Moldova Ukraine History Dialects Serbia Albania Bulgarian slash B E O E L E E E E trademark R I E trademark and slash slash B L E slash is an Indo European language, a member of the southern branch of the Slavic language family. Bulgarian, along with the closely related Macedonian language, has several characteristics that set it apart from all other Slavic languages. Changes include the elimination of case declension, the development of a suffix definite article, and the lack of a verb infinitive, but it retains and has further developed the Proto Slavic verb system. Various evidential verb forms exist to express unwitnessed, retold, and doubtful action. With the accession of Bulgaria to the European Union on January 1, 2007, Bulgarian became one of the official languages of the European Union. Relationship to Macedonian One can divide the development of the Bulgarian language into several periods. Bulgarian was the first Slavic language attested in writing. As Slavic linguistic unity lasted into late antiquity, the oldest manuscripts initially referred to this language was as NN degree and 3 4th superscript 2 and 1 half NOEN degree, the Slavic language. In the Middle Bulgarian period this name was gradually replaced by the name NN degree plus or minus superscript 3 degree and Euro NOEN degree, the Bulgarian language. In some cases, the name NN degree plus or minus superscript 3 degree and Euro NOEN degree was used not only with regard to the contemporary Middle Bulgarian language of the copyist but also to the period of Old Bulgarian. A most notable example of anachronism is the service of St. Cyril from Skopje, a 13th century Middle Bulgarian manuscript from northern Macedonia, according to which St. Cyril preached with Bulgarian books among the Moravian Slavs. The first mention of the language as the Bulgarian language instead of the Slavonic language comes in the work of the Greek clergy of the Bulgarian Archbishopric of Arad in the 11th century, for example in the Greek hagiography of Saint Clement of Arad by Theophylact of Arad. Alphabet During the Middle Bulgarian period, the language underwent dramatic changes, losing the Slavonic case system, but preserving the rich verb system and developing a definite article. It was influenced by its non-Slavic neighbors in the Balkan language area and later also by Turkish, which was the official language of the Ottoman Empire, in the form of the Ottoman Turkish language, mostly lexically. As a national revival occurred toward the end of the period of Ottoman rule, a modern Bulgarian literary language gradually emerged that drew heavily on Church Slavonic slash Old Bulgarian and later reduced the number of Turkish and other Balkan loans. Today one difference between Bulgarian dialects in the country and literary spoken Bulgarian is the significant presence of Old Bulgarian words and even word forms in the latter. Russian loans are distinguished from Old Bulgarian ones on the basis of the presence of specifically Russian phonetic changes, as in 3 4th plus or minus 3 4th n euro 3 4th n, 1 half 3 4th 1 half n n 1 half, n n euro 3 4th and others. As usual in such cases, Many other loans from French, English, and the classical languages have subsequently entered the language as well. Modern Bulgarian was based essentially on the Eastern dialects of the language, but its pronunciation is in many respects a compromise between East and West Bulgarian. Following the efforts of some figures of the National Awakening of Bulgaria, there had been many attempts to codify a standard Bulgarian language, however, there was much argument surrounding the choice of norms. 
between 1,835 and 1,878 more than 25 proposals were put forward and linguistic chaos ensued. Eventually the Eastern dialects prevailed, and in 1,899 the Bulgarian Ministry of Education officially codified a standard Bulgarian language based on the Drinovivankev orthography. The language is mainly split into two broad dialect areas, based on the different reflexes of the common Slavic Yat vowel. This split, which occurred at some point during the Middle Ages, led to the development of Bulgaria's phonology. The literary language norm, which is generally based on the Eastern dialects, also has the Eastern alternating reflex of Yat. However, it has not incorporated the general eastern umlaut of all synchronic or even historic ya sounds into e before front vowels a euro e.g. three fourth and one half degree vs. three fourth one half meadow a euro meadows or even degree plus or minus degree vs. plus or minus frog a euro frogs, even though its co occurs with the yat alternation in almost all eastern dialects that have it. Grammar. More examples of the yat umlaut in the literary language are Nominal morphology. Until 1945, Bulgarian orthography did not reveal this alternation and used the original Old Slavic Cyrillic letter yat, which was commonly called superscript 2 3 4 superscript 1 1 half 3 4 at the time to express the historical yat vowel or at least root vowels displaying the ya a euro e alternation. The letter was used in each occurrence of such a root, regardless of the actual pronunciation of the vowel, thus, both mlyako and mle car were spelled with. Among other things, this was seen as a way to reconcile the Western and the Eastern dialects and maintain language unity at a time when much of Bulgaria's Western dialect area was controlled by Serbia and Greece, but there were still hopes and occasional attempts to recover it. With the 1945 orthographic reform, this letter was abolished and the present spelling was introduced, reflecting the alternation in pronunciation. This had implications for some grammatical constructions. Nominal inflection Sometimes, with the changes, words began to be spelled as other words with different meanings, e.g. In spite of the literary norm regarding the yat vowel, many people living in western Bulgaria, including the capital Sofia, will fail to observe its rules. While the norm requires the realizations Vidyal versus Videli, some natives of Western Bulgaria will preserve their local dialect pronunciation with E for all instances of Yat. Others, attempting to adhere to the norm, will actually use the Ya sound even in cases where the standard language has E. The latter hypercorrection is called N superscript 2 N euro, N degree degree 1 half. Bulgarian is the only Slavic language whose literary standard does not naturally contain the iotated sound slash je slash. The sound is common in all modern Slavic languages there is not, Macedonian n superscript 2 degree slash pi uva superscript 2 e superscript 2 e slash writing, etc., as well as some Western Bulgarian dialectal forms a euro e.g. 3 fourth n euro degree i euro one half a euro trademark slash o ere superscript 2 e superscript 2 e slash, however it is not represented in standard Bulgarian speech or writing. Even where slash j e slash occurs in other Slavic words, in standard Bulgarian it is usually transcribed and pronounced as pure slash e slash a euro e.g. Boris Yeltsin is Eltsin, Ekaterinburg is Ekaterinburg and Sarajevo is Sarivo, although, because the sound is contained in a stressed syllable at the beginning of the word, 
Jelena Jankovia is Yelena A Euro trademark one half degree one half degree three fourth superscript two N. Until the period immediately following the Second World War, all Bulgarian and the majority of foreign linguists referred to the South Slavic dialect continuum spanning the area of modern Bulgaria, the Republic of Macedonia and parts of northern Greece as a group of Bulgarian dialects. In contrast, Serbian sources tended to label them South Serbian dialects. Some local naming conventions included Bulgarski, Bugarski, and so forth. The codifiers of the standard Bulgarian language, however, did not wish to make any allowances for a pluricentric Bulgaro-Macedonian compromise. After 1944 the People's Republic of Bulgaria and the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia began a policy of making Macedonia into the connecting link for the establishment of a new Balkan Federative Republic and stimulating here a development of distinct Slav-Macedonian consciousness. With the proclamation of the Socialist Republic of Macedonia as part of the Yugoslav Federation, the new authorities also started measures that would overcome the pro-Bulgarian feeling among parts of its population and in 1945 a separate Macedonian language was codified. After 1958, when the pressure from Moscow decreased, Sofia reverted to the view that the Macedonian language did not exist as a separate language. Nowadays, Bulgarian and Greek linguists as well as some linguists from other countries still consider Macedonian dialects as Bulgarian. Outside Bulgaria and Greece, Macedonian is generally considered an autonomous language within the South Slavic dialect continuum. Sociolinguists agree that the question whether Macedonian is a dialect of Bulgarian or a language is a political one and cannot be resolved on a purely linguistic basis, because dialect continua do not allow for either slash or judgments. In 886 AD, the Bulgarian Empire introduced the Glagolitic alphabet which was devised by the saints Cyril and Methodius in the 850s. The Glagolitic alphabet was gradually superseded in later centuries by the Cyrillic script, developed around the pre-Slav literary school, Bulgaria in the beginning of the 10th century. Gender Several Cyrillic alphabets with 28 to 44 letters were used in the beginning and the middle of the 19th century during the efforts on the codification of modern Bulgarian until an alphabet with 32 letters proposed by Marin Drinov, gained prominence in the 1870s. The alphabet of Marin Drinov was used until the orthographic reform of 1945, when the letters N cent, N pound, and N, N, were removed from its alphabet, reducing the number of letters to 30. Number with the accession of Bulgaria to the European Union on January 1, 2007, Cyrillic became the third official script of the European Union, following the Latin and Greek scripts. The prehistoric period covers the time between the Slavonic migration to the Eastern Balkans and the mission of Saints Cyril and Methodius to Great Moravia in the 860s. Old Bulgarian a Euro a literary norm of the early southern dialect of the common Slavic language from which Bulgarian evolved. Saints Cyril and Methodius and their disciples used this norm when translating the Bible and other liturgical literature from Greek into Slavic, Middle Bulgarian a Euro a literary norm that evolved from the earlier Old Bulgarian, after major innovations occurred. A language of rich literary activity, it served as the official administration language of the Second Bulgarian Empire, modern Bulgarian dates from the 16th century onwards, undergoing general grammar and syntax changes in the 18th and 19th centuries. Present-day written Bulgarian language was standardized on the basis of the 19th century Bulgarian vernacular. 
The historical development of the Bulgarian language can be described as a transition from a highly synthetic language to a typical analytic language with Middle Bulgarian as a midpoint in this transition. Bulgarian possesses a phonology similar to that of the rest of the South Slavic languages, notably lacking Serbo-Croatian's phonemic vowel length and tones and alveo-palatal affricates. The Eastern dialects exhibit palatalization of consonants before front vowels and reduction of vowel phonemes in unstressed position, both patterns have partial parallels in Russian and lead to a partly similar sound. The Western dialects are like Macedonian and Serbo-Croatian in that they do not have allophonic palatalization and have only little vowel reduction. Bulgarian has six vowel phonemes, but at least eight distinct phones can be distinguished when reduced allophones are taken into consideration. Western dialects, the former yat is pronounced e in all positions e.g. 1 fourth degree 3 fourth a euro milk, n, plus or minus a euro bread. The parts of speech in Bulgarian are divided in ten types, which are categorized in two broad classes, mutable and immutable. The difference is that mutable parts of speech vary grammatically, whereas the immutable ones do not change, regardless of their use. The five classes of mutables are, nouns, adjectives, numerals, pronouns, and verbs. Syntactically, the first four of these form the group of the noun or the nominal group. The immutables are, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, particles, and interjections. Verbs and adverbs form the group of the verb or the verbal group. Case Definiteness Adjective and numeral inflection Pronouns Nouns and adjectives have the categories grammatical gender, number, case, and definiteness in Bulgarian. Adjectives and adjectival pronouns agree with nouns in number and gender. Pronouns have gender and number and retain a more significant part of the case system. Miley Akoa Mle Kar, Mlhn, etc., Sya Dam A S Edelke, S Edelisht, etc., Savia Ta Sve Tatiz, Sve Talisht, etc., which normally becomes E in Bulgarian, but the word was influenced by Russian and the Yat umlaut. There are three grammatical genders in Bulgarian masculine, feminine and neuter. The gender of the noun can largely be inferred from its ending. Nouns ending in a consonant are generally masculine or normally feminine, and nouns ending in a euro, a euro three-fourth are almost always neuter child, and euro three-fourth slash eero slash lake, as are those rare words that end in a euro, a euro, and a euro. Perhaps the most significant exception from the above are the relatively numerous nouns that end in a consonant and yet are feminine, these comprise, firstly, a large group of nouns with zero ending expressing quality, degree, or an abstraction, including all nouns ending on a euro three-fourth nn slash a euro nn, and secondly, a much smaller group of irregular nouns with zero ending which define tangible objects or concepts. There are also some commonly used words that end in a vowel and yet are masculine, plus or minus degree and per thousand degree father, and three-fourth grandfather, and n three-fourth slash superscript two superscript one and three-fourth uncle, and others. The plural forms of the nouns do not express their gender as clearly as the singular ones, but may also provide some clues to it. The ending a euro is more likely to be used with a masculine or feminine noun, while one in a euro degree slash a euro n belongs more often to a neuter noun. Also, the plural ending a euro three fourth superscript two slash ov slash occurs only in masculine nouns.
Two numbers are distinguished in Bulgarian a euro singular and plural. A variety of plural suffixes is used, and the choice between them is partly determined by their ending in singular and partly influenced by gender. In addition, irregular declension and alternative plural forms are common. Words ending in a euro degree slash a euro and generally have the plural ending a euro, upon dropping of the singular ending. Of nouns ending in a consonant, the feminine ones also use a euro, whereas the masculine ones usually have a euro for polysyllables and a euro three fourth superscript two for monosyllables. Nouns ending in a euro three fourth slash a euro mostly use the suffixes a euro degree, a euro n and a euro n degree. The third person plural pronoun and its derivatives. Before 1945 the pronoun they was spelled n n pound, and its derivatives took this as the root. After the orthographic change, the pronoun and its derivatives were given an equal share of soft and hard spellings, they a euro and a them a euro and n n, they are a euro t e hen, t e hone, t e hono, t e hone. With cardinal numbers and related words such as one half n degree three fourth degree three fourth, Masculine nouns use a special count form in a euro degree slash a euro n, which stems from the Proto-Slavonic dual, superscript 2 degree slash n n euro n n 3 fourth degree versus n n n 3 fourth 3 fourth superscript 2, cf feminine superscript 2 slash n n euro slash n degree 1 half superscript 3 and neuter superscript 2 slash n n euro slash n superscript 3 degree. However, a recently developed language norm requires that count forms should only be used with masculine nouns that do not denote persons. Thus, superscript 2 degree 1 4 degree slash n n euro 1 4 degree 1 half n is perceived as more correct than superscript 2 degree 1 4 degree slash n n euro 1 4 degree 1 half degree degree while the distinction is retained in cases such as superscript 2 degree slash n n euro 1 4 3 4 superscript 2 degree versus n 1 4 3 4 superscript 2. Cases exist only in the personal and some other pronouns, with nominative, accusative, dative and vocative forms. Vestiges are present in a number of phraseological units and sayings. The major exception are vocative forms, which are still in use for masculine and feminine nouns three-fourth and in the singular. In modern Bulgarian, definiteness is expressed by a definite article which is postfixed to the noun, much like in the Scandinavian languages or Romanian or to the first nominal constituent of definite noun phrases. There are four singular definite articles. Again. The choice between them is largely determined by the nouns ending in the singular. Nouns that end in a consonant and are masculine use a euro slash a euro n n, when they are grammatical subjects, and a euro degree slash a euro n elsewhere. Nouns that end in a consonant and are feminine, as well as nouns that end in a euro degree slash a euro n use a euro n degree. Nouns that end in a euro slash a euro three fourth use a euro and three fourth. Verbal morphology and grammar. The plural definite article is a euro and for all nouns except for those whose plural form ends in a euro degree slash a euro n, these get a euro n degree instead. When postfixed to adjectives the definite articles are a euro and n slash a euro and for masculine gender, a euro and degree for feminine gender, a euro and three fourth for neuter gender, and a euro and for plural. In Bulgarian adjective noun phrases, only the adjective takes a definite article ending a euro. Many of the English loanwords which have been adopted into the language since the end of communism, however, do not readily lend themselves to taking adjectival endings. 
This has caused an unprecedented shift in the language whereby, in certain cases, the adjective remains uninflected, while the noun following it takes the grammatical ending. Examples include a euro. Finite verbal forms. Aspect. Mood. This type of combination is sometimes favored even when the possibility of a traditional phrase structure exists, e.g. a euro. In this case, the brand name BTV cannot be inflected and, being a brand, remains in Roman script within the sentence. Both groups agree in gender and number with the noun they are appended to. They may also take the definite article as explained above. Pronouns may vary in gender, number, and definiteness, and are the only parts of speech that have retained case inflections. Three cases are exhibited by some groups of pronouns a euro nominative, accusative and dative. The distinguishable types of pronouns include the following, personal, relative, reflexive, interrogative, negative, indefinitive, summative, and possessive. The Bulgarian verb can take up to 3,000 distinct forms, as it varies in person, number, voice, aspect, mood, tense and even gender. Tense Finite verbal forms are simple or compound and agree with subjects in person and number. In addition to that, past compound forms using participles vary in gender and voice as well as aspect. Bulgarian verbs express lexical aspect, perfective verbs signify the completion of the action of the verb and form past perfective forms, imperfective ones are neutral with regard to it and form past imperfective forms. Most Bulgarian verbs can be grouped in perfective-imperfective pairs. Perfective verbs can be usually formed from imperfective ones by suffixation or prefixation, but the resultant verb often deviates in meaning from the original. In the pair examples above, aspect is stem-specific and therefore there is no difference in meaning. In Bulgarian, there is also grammatical aspect. Three grammatical aspects are distinguishable, neutral, perfect, and pluperfect. The neutral aspect comprises the three simple tenses and the future tense. The pluperfect is manifest in tenses that use double or triple auxiliary be participles like the past pluperfect subjunctive. Perfect constructions use a single auxiliary be. The traditional interpretation is that in addition to the four moods shared by most other European languages a euro indicative imperative, subjunctive and conditional a euro in Bulgarian there is one more to describe a general category of unwitnessed events a euro the inferential mood. However, most contemporary Bulgarian linguists usually exclude the subjunctive mood and the inferential mood from the list of Bulgarian moods and don't consider them to be moods but view them as verbial morphosyntactic constructs or separate gramemes of the verb class. The possible existence of a few other moods has been discussed in the literature. Most Bulgarian school grammars teach the traditional view of four Bulgarian moods. There are three grammatically distinctive positions in time a euro present, past, and future a euro which combine with aspect and mood to produce a number of formations. Normally, in grammar books these formations are viewed as separate tenses a euro i.e. Past imperfect would mean that the verb is in past tense, in the imperfective aspect, and in the indicative mood. There are more than 40 different tenses across Bulgarians two aspects and five moods. In the indicative mood, there are three simple tenses. In the indicative there are also the following compound tenses. The four perfect constructions above can vary in aspect depending on the aspect of the main verb participle, they are in fact pairs of imperfective and perfective aspects. 
Verbs and forms using past participles also vary in voice and gender. There is only one simple tense in the imperative mood, the present, and there are simple forms only for the second person singular, slash dash superscript one, and plural, and slash dash superscript one n, e.g. degree slash yat slash, slash oet slash, sg, and slash oett slash, pl. Superscript 3 and Euro degree and slash EIE Raj slash to play, superscript 3 and Euro degree superscript 1 slash IEE Raj slash, superscript 3 and Euro degree superscript 1 and slash IEE Raj D slash. There are compound imperative forms for all persons and numbers in the present compound imperative, the present perfect compound imperative and the rarely used present pluperfect compound imperative. The conditional mood consists of five compound tenses, most of which are not grammatically distinguishable. The present, future, and past conditional use a special past form of the stem plus or minus and the past participle. The past future conditional and the past future perfect conditional coincide in form with the respective indicative tenses. Non-finite verbal forms Reflexive verbs The subjunctive mood is rarely documented as a separate verb form in Bulgarian, but nevertheless it is used regularly. The most common form, often mistaken for the present tense, is the present subjunctive degree 3 fourth and degree to OE tide slash, I had better go. The difference between the present indicative and the present subjunctive tense is that the subjunctive can be formed by both perfective and imperfective verbs. It has completely replaced the infinitive and the supine from complex expressions. It is also employed to express opinion about possible future events. The past perfect subjunctive degree plus or minus nn. 3 fourth nn to b superscript 2 ax oetl slash, I'd had better be gone refers to possible events in the past, which did not take place, and the present pluperfect subjunctive, which may be used about both past and future events arousing feelings of incontinence, suspicion, etc., and has no perfect to English translation. The inferential mood has five pure tenses. Two of them are simple a euro past a erist inferential and past imperfect inferential a euro and are formed by the past participles of perfective and imperfective verbs, respectively. There are also three compound tenses a euro past future inferential, past future perfect inferential and past perfect inferential. All these tenses forms are gender specific in the singular. There are also conditional and compound imperative crossovers. The existence of inferential forms has been attributed to Turkic influences by most Bulgarian linguists. Morphologically, they are derived from the perfect. Adverbs Bulgarian has the following participles. Syntax Other features Questions Significant verbs Diminutives and augmentatives Conjunctions and particles Pronouns of quality Inflection and derivation Miscellaneous Lexis Comparison with other Slavic languages Borrowings Common expressions The participles are inflected by gender, number, and definiteness, and are coordinated with the subject when forming compound tenses. When used in attributive role the inflection attributes are coordinated with the noun that is being attributed. Bulgarian uses reflexive verbal forms which behave in a similar way as they do in many other Indo-European languages, such as French and Spanish. The reflexive is expressed by the invariable particle SE, 
originally a clitic form of the accusative reflexive pronoun. Thus a euro. When the action is performed on others, other particles are used, just like in any normal verb, e.g. a euro. Sometimes, the reflexive verb form has a similar but not necessarily identical meaning to the non-reflexive verb a euro. In other cases, the reflexive verb has a completely different meaning from its non-reflexive counterpart a euro. When the action is performed on an indirect object, the particles change to si and its derivatives a euro. In some cases, the particle si is ambiguous between the indirect object and the possessive meaning a euro. The difference between transitive and intransitive verbs can lead to significant differences in meaning with minimal change, e.g. a euro. The particle si is often used to indicate a more personal relationship to the action, e.g. a euro. The most productive way to form adverbs is to derive them from the neuter singular form of the corresponding adjective via euro e.g. plus or minus euro three-fourth, and one-half three-fourth, and n n euro degree one-half one-half three-fourth a euro but adjectives ending in degree use the masculine singular form instead a euro e.g. one-half degree n degree, one-fourth degree, one-fourth degree superscript one and n three-fourth n euro n degree. The same pattern is used to form adverbs from the ordinal numerals, e.g. euro superscript two three-fourth, superscript two and three-fourth n euro three-fourth, and n euro n three-fourth, and in some cases from cardinal numerals, e.g. superscript 2 3 4 superscript 1 1 half 3 4 and n euro 3 4 superscript 1 1 half 3 4 and 3 4 n euro 1 half 3 4 The remaining adverbs are formed in ways that are no longer productive in the language. A small number are original, for example, n degree, n degree 1 4 superscript 2 n euro, Superscript 2 1 half, 1 fourth 1 half 3 fourth superscript 3 3 fourth etc. The rest are mostly fossilized case forms, such as. Adverbs can sometimes be reduplicated to emphasize the qualitative or quantitative properties of actions, moods, or relations as performed by the subject of the sentence plus or minus degree superscript 2 1 half 3 fourth plus or minus degree superscript 2 1 half 3 fourth, superscript 2 degree dash superscript 2 degree, and superscript 2 and 1 fourth and superscript 2 and 1 fourth. Bulgarian employs clitic doubling, mostly for emphatic purposes. For example, the following constructions are common in colloquial Bulgarian. The phenomenon is practically obligatory in the spoken language in the case of inversion signaling information structure. Sometimes, the doubling signals syntactic relations, thus. This is contrasted with. In this case, clitic doubling can be a colloquial alternative of the more formal or bookish passive voice, which would be constructed as follows. Clitic doubling is also fully obligatory, both in the spoken and in the written norm, in clauses including several special expressions that use the short accusative and dative pronouns such as superscript 3 and euro degree 1 fourth n, and n 1 half 3 fourth 1 fourth, and plus or minus 3 fourth 1 fourth n euro degree degree n degree. Except the above examples. Clitic doubling is considered inappropriate in a formal context. Bulgarian grammars usually do not treat this phenomenon extensively. Questions in Bulgarian which do not use a question word are formed with the particle after the verb. A subject is not necessary, as the verbal conjugation suggests who is performing the action. While the particle generally goes after the verb, it can go after a noun or adjective if a contrast is needed. 
A verb is not always necessary, e.g. when presenting a choice. Rhetorical questions can be formed by adding to a question word, thus forming a double interrogative a euro. The same construction plus one half is an emphasized positive a euro. One fourth. The verb n one fourth slash sem slash a euro to be is also used as an auxiliary for forming the perfect, the passive, and the conditional. Two alternate forms of n one fourth exist. Copyright. The impersonal verb n per thousand is used to for forming the future tense. The negative future is formed with the invariable construction one half n one fourth degree degree slash e superscript two aimed as slash. The past tense of this verb a euro n per thousand n n slash t superscript two x slash is conjugated to form the past conditional. One fourth degree one fourth and one half and one fourth degree one fourth. The verbs one fourth degree one fourth slash e i m e m slash and one half and one fourth degree one fourth slash e superscript two a m m slash. Diminutive. Usually done by adding n n or degree degree. The first two of these change the gender to the neuter. Affectionate form. Sometimes proper nouns and words referring to friends or family members can have a diminutive ending added to show affection. These constructions are all referred to as na galino. Such words can be used both from parent to child, and vice versa, as can. Personal names are shortened. There is an interesting trend where the feminine ending ka and the definite suffix ta are added to male names a euro note that this is affectionate and not at all insulting. The female equivalent would be to add the neuter ending to to the diminutive form. Augmentative This is to present words to sound larger a euro usually by adding sht. Some words only exist in an augmentative form a euro e.g. But In Bulgarian, there are several conjunctions all translating into English as but, which are all used in distinct situations. They are one half three fourth, degree one fourth degree, degree, degree one fourth, and degree degree a euro however, identical and used to one half three fourth. While there is some overlapping between their uses, in many cases they are specific. For example, ami is used for a choice a euro n e tova, ami o nova a euro not this one, but that one, while ama is often used to provide extra information or an opinion a euro kazigo, ama's greshi a euro I said it, but I was wrong. Meanwhile, a provides contrast between two situations, and in some sentences can even be translated as although, while, or even and a euro a z rabatia, a toy bli a euro I'm working, and he's daydreaming. Very often, different words can be used to alter the emphasis of a sentence a euro e.g. while pusha, no ne triabva and pusha, a ne triabva both mean I smoke but I shouldn't, the first sounds more like a statement of fact, while the second feels more like a judgment. Similarly, azne iskom, ama toyiska and azne iskom, a toyiska both mean I don't want to, but he does, however the first emphasis is the fact that he wants to, while the second emphasis is the wanting rather than the person. Allah is interesting in that, while it feels archaic, it is often used in poetry and frequently in children's stories, since it has quite a moral slash ominous feel to it. Some common expressions use these words, and some can be used alone as interjections. Vocative Particles 
Bulgarian has several abstract particles which are used to strengthen a statement. These have no precise translation in English. The particles are strictly informal and can even be considered rude by some people and in some situations. They are mostly used at the end of questions or instructions. Modal particles These are tagged on to the beginning or end of a sentence to express the mood of the speaker in relation to the situation. They are mostly interrogative or slightly imperative in nature. There is no change in the grammatical mood when these are used. Intentional particles These express intent or desire, perhaps even pleading. They can be seen as a sort of cohortative side to the language. They are also highly informal. These particles can be combined with the vocative particles for greater effect, e.g. adavidya, b, or even exclusively in combinations with them, with no other elements, e.g. hade, de, nede, de. Notes Bibliography N superscript 2 N pound N A Euro world became N superscript 2 N N, spelt and pronounced the same as N superscript 2 N N A Euro holy dot, N N pound A Euro they became N. Shervina Tomasa A Euro the red table, Shervani Yatstol A Euro the red chair. Internet Patri Batelli TEA Euro the internet users. Webstrani CTEA Euro the web pages. Bulgarian has several pronouns of quality which have no direct parallels in English a Euro Kakov, Takov, Onakov, Niakakov, Nakakov, Visyakakov, and the relative pronoun Kakofto. The adjective Ednakov derives from the same radical. Example phrases include an interesting phenomenon is that these can be strung along one after another in quite long constructions, e.g. An extreme sentence, with almost no physical meaning in it whatsoever a euro yet which does have perfect meaning to the Bulgarian ear a euro would be. A euro note, the subject of the sentence is simply the pronoun to ya. Another interesting phenomenon that is observed in colloquial speech is the use of takova not only as a substitute for an adjective, but also as a substitute for a verb. In that case the base form takova is used as the third person singular in the present indicative and all other forms are formed by analogy to other verbs in the language. Sometimes the verb may even acquire a derivational prefix that changes its meaning. Examples Another use of takova in colloquial speech is the word takovata, which can be used as a substitution for a noun, but also, if the speaker doesn't remember or is not sure how to say something, they might say takovata and then pause to think about it. Similar meaningless expressions are extremely common in spoken Bulgarian especially when the speaker is finding it difficult to describe something. Bulgarian has a rich set of inflectional and derivational processes. In the simplest terms, this can be seen in the way that most nouns and verbs are formed a euro namely by adding prefixes and suffixes to a rather limited number of roots, which creates almost a dozen new words, along with a couple of dozen derivatives thereof. Here are some examples using the root word klyukki slash switch. Nouns Adjectives Verbs An extreme example using this root might be Adjectives can also take up to three endings that are added to the masculine root, for example. Verbs can take several prefixes thus expressing increasingly complex ideas. For example, the bola euro root, which has to do with ailments, can be used to express various different stages of falling ill. Similarly, 
the root cry euro, referring to hiding slash discovery. Most of the vocabulary of modern Bulgarian consists of derivations of some 2,000 words inherited from Proto-Slavic through the mediation of Old and Middle Bulgarian. Thus, the native lexical terms in Bulgarian account for 70% to 75% of the lexicon. The remaining 25% to 30% are loanwords from a number of languages, as well as derivations of such words. Bulgarian adopted also a few words of Thracian and Bulgar origin. The languages which have contributed most to Bulgarian are Russian, French, and to a lesser extent English and Ottoman Turkish. Also Latin and Greek are the source of many words, used mostly in international terminology. Many Latin terms entered the language through Romanian, Aromanian, and Meglino-Romanian during Bulgarian empires. Loanwords of Greek origin in Bulgarian are a product of the influence of the liturgical language of the Orthodox Church. Many of the numerous loanwords from another Turkic language, Ottoman Turkish which were adopted into Bulgarian during the long period of Ottoman rule, have been replaced with native terms. In addition, both specialized and commonplace English words have also penetrated Bulgarian since the second half of the 20th century, especially since 1989. A noteworthy portion of this English-derived terminology has attained some unique features in the process of its introduction to native speakers, and this has resulted in peculiar derivations that set the newly formed loanwords apart from the original words although many loanwords are completely identical to the source words. A growing number of international neologisms are also being widely adopted, causing controversy between younger generations who, in general, are raised in the era of digital globalization, and the older, more conservative educated purists. Prior to standardization in the 19th century, after a period of Ottoman Turkish as a lingua franca for about five centuries, vernacular Bulgarian is estimated to have been consisted of 50% Ottoman vocabulary, which contained predominantly Arabic and Persian words. Most Slavic languages demonstrate a higher degree of shared vocabulary than English with the Germanic family due to Romance loans in English and on the other hand through influences on Slavic languages of Russian or Church Slavonic literature, which was a Southeast Slavic language. The adoption of Church Slavonic morphonology and vocabulary was used to enrich other Slavic languages, it is especially pronounced in Russian which today consists of mixed native and church Slavonic vocabulary, analogically to Germanic and Romance vocabulary of English, but in Russian the church Slav oneisms are not perceived as foreign due to their Slavic roots. An estimated 55% of Russian, including vocabulary, syntactic features, etc. goes back to church Slavonic language, known as Old Bulgarian while 70% of Church Slavonic words are common to all Slavic languages. Some authors argue that the Southeast Slavic language Church Slavonic is the passkey to the Russian nation and language. As of the beginning of the 1960s, loanwords amounted to some 25% of the vocabulary of the Standard Dictionary of Bulgarian. The most important source of loanwords in recent centuries has been Russian. Two other important sources of borrowing were Latin and Greek, each accounting for around a quarter of all borrowings, more specifically, Latin and Greek. French vocabulary contribution to the Bulgarian language totals around 15% and Ottoman Turkish totaled around 14% whereas loanwords from Russian accounted for 10% of the borrowings. Lesser but still significant influence was exerted by Italian, German and English. Some very frequent expressions have been borrowed from other languages. Most of them are somewhat informal. 
Linguistic Reports Dictionaries BTV Novinite A Euro The BTV News Present tense is a temporally unmarked simple form made up of the verbal stem and a complex suffix composed of the thematic vowel slash e slash slash i slash or slash a slash and the person slash number ending. Only imperfective verbs can stand in the present indicative tense independently. Past imperfect is a simple verb form used to express an action which is contemporaneous or subordinate to other past actions. It is made up of an imperfective or a perfective verbal stem and the person slash number ending. Past aorist is a simple form used to express a temporarily independent, specific past action. It is made up of a perfective or an imperfective verbal stem and the person slash number ending. Future tense is a compound form made of the particle and per thousand slash t slash and present tense. Negation is expressed by the construction one half and one fourth degree degree slash e superscript two aimed as slash and present tense. Past future tense is a compound form used to express an action which was to be completed in the past but was future as regards another past action. It is made up of the past imperfect of the verb and per thousand degree slash t slash, the particle degree slash does slash and the present tense of the verb. Present perfect is a compound form used to express an action which was completed in the past but is relevant for or related to the present. It is made up of the present tense of the verb and one fourth slash sem slash and the past participle. Past perfect is a compound form used to express an action which was completed in the past and is relative to another past action. It is made up of the past tense of the verb and one fourth and the past participle. Future perfect is a compound form used to express an action which is to take place in the future before another future action. It is made up of the future tense of the verb and one fourth and the past participle. Past future perfect is a compound form used to express a past action which is future with respect to a past action which itself is prior to another past action. It is made up of the past imperfect of n per thousand degree, the particle degree the present tense of the verb n one fourth and the past participle of the verb. Present active participle is formed from imperfective stems with the addition of the suffixes a euro degree n per thousand slash a euro n per thousand slash a euro and n per thousand and is used only attributively. Present passive participle is formed by the addition of the suffixes one fourth slash degree one fourth slash one fourth. Past active aorist participle is formed by the addition of the suffix a euro a euro to perfective stems read. Past active imperfect participle is formed by the addition of the suffixes a euro slash a euro degree slash a euro and to imperfective stems reading. Past passive aorist participle is formed from aorist slash perfective stems with the addition of the suffixes one half slash a euro n. It is used predicatively and attributively. Past passive imperfect participle is formed from imperfective stems with the addition of the suffix a euro one half read, plus or minus superscript two degree one half, being killed. It is used predicatively and attributively. Adverbial participle is usually formed from imperfective present stems with the suffix a euro superscript one degree. Relates an action contemporaneous with and subordinate to the main verb and is originally a Western Bulgarian form. Mia a euro I wash. Mia se a euro I wash myself. Mish se a euro you wash yourself. Pitam a euro I ask. Pitam se a euro I ask myself. Pitash se a euro you ask yourself. Mia te a euro I wash you. Pitash me a euro you ask me. Kazvam a euro I say, Kazvam se a euro my name is, Vizdam a euro I see, Vizdam se a euro we see ourselves or we meet each other. Karam a euro to drive, 
car messi a euro to have a row with someone, got via a euro to cook, got via sc a euro to get ready, smea a euro to dare, smea sc a euro to laugh. Kasvam si a euro I say to myself, Kasvish si a euro you say to yourself, Kasvam ti a euro I say to you, Paya si a euro I am singing to myself, P si a euro she is singing to herself, P mu a euro she is singing to him, God via si a euro I cook for myself, God via si a euro they cook for themselves. Got via I'm a euro I cook for them. Courses Mia si ratset a euro I wash my hands, Mia ti ratset a euro I wash your hands, Pitam si priodolite a euro I ask my friends, Pitam ti priodolite a euro I ask your friends, Iscom si topkata a euro I want my ball. Hairs vash me a euro you like me. Hairs vash me a euro I like you. Odavam a euro I am going. Odavam si a euro I am going home. Hairs vam go a euro I like him. Hairs vam si go a euro no precise translation. Roughly translates as he's really close to my heart. Staname priateli a euro we became friends. Staname si priateli a euro same meaning but sounds friendlier, Mislaya a euro I am thinking, Mislaya si a euro same meaning, but usually about something personal and slash or trivial. Archaic locative forms of some adjectives, e.g. 3 fourth plus or minus n euro, and superscript 2 euro, and noun superscript 3 3 fourth n euro, n euro, n. Archaic instrumental forms of some adjectives, e.g. nn, 3 fourth 1 fourth, n degree n euro n 3 fourth 1 fourth, and n degree 3 fourth 1 fourth, and nouns, e.g. 1 half 1 fourth, 1 half 3 fourth n per thousand 1 fourth, n euro 3 fourth 1 fourth, 3 fourth 1 fourth, and n n euro 3 fourth 1 fourth and 3 fourth superscript 2 3 fourth 1 fourth, or verbs, and n n degree 3 fourth 1 fourth, n degree 3 fourth 1 fourth, and n 3 fourth n degree 3 fourth 1 fourth, archaic accusative forms of some nouns, 1 half n, 1 half 3 fourth n per thousand n, and n euro 1 half, 1 fourth slash 1 fourth, archaic genitive forms of, some nouns, 3 fourth superscript 2 and n euro degree, and 1 half 3 fourth n per thousand, superscript 2 and n euro degree, homonymous and etymologically identical to the feminine singular form of the corresponding adjective used with the definite article, n euro degree superscript 2 degree n degree, and n degree degree n degree, the same pattern has been applied to some verbs e.g. n n n degree degree n degree, n degree degree n degree, and n three fourth n degree degree n degree dot, derived from cardinal numerals by means of a non-productive suffix, superscript two one half, superscript two degree, and n euro. Superscript two degree n a euro you are coming, superscript two degree n, a euro are you coming? Superscript 2 degree n n 1 half degree n a euro are you coming with us, 1 half degree n superscript 2 degree n, a euro are you coming with us? Sent 3 fourth superscript 1 a euro him, n n n, a euro the yellow one. 3 fourth superscript 1 a euro who, 3 fourth superscript 1 a euro I wonder who. 3 fourth superscript 1 plus or minus n n degree 1 fourth. A euro who was there, a euro 3 fourth superscript 1 1 half, a euro nearly everyone. Past tense a euro slash oe dairy scm slash a euro I have hit, 
passive a euro slash oe dare n s e m slash a euro i am hit past passive a euro slash b superscript two ax oe dare n slash a euro i was hit conditional a euro slash bix oe daryl slash a euro i would hit plus or minus degree slash e beta slash a euro interchangeable with n one fourth in most tenses and moods but never in the present indicative a euro e.g. slash e is key m de e beta slash slash t e beta tuck slash in the imperative only plus or minus degree is used a euro slash e beta tuck slash plus or minus superscript two degree one fourth slash e of m slash a euro slightly archaic imperfective form of plus or minus degree a euro e.g. slash e of z a e plus n slash in contemporary usage, it is mostly used in the negative to mean ought not, e.g. slash ne ebiv de epui slash slash oe tiv m slash a euro i am going slash toe tiv m slash a euro i will be going slash e superscript to aim to oe tiv m slash a euro i will not be going slash t superscript two ax to o e tide slash a euro i would have gone slash t to o tide slash you would have gone the third person singular of these two can be used impersonally to mean there is slash there are or there isn't slash aren't any e.g. slash i am e e v r e me slash slash e superscript two a me nico o slash Slash cola slash a slash colit slash slash e k t or slash e k t slash a slash e k t and s slash make a machetsi tatko a tatency badko a badency priatel a priatelch georgie a gosho slash got set mihail a misho angel a geli slash ako Ivan A. Vanko, Vasil A. Vasco, Anna A. Ani, Irina A. Reni, Ivan A. Viangata, Ako A. A. Eurochkata, Nadia A. Natato, Sonia A. Sunchato, Chovek A. Chovekisht, Zerilisht Spectacle, Svlashisht Landslide A. Euro from Svlixum to Drag Down, Day, a m a n e a euro means you're wrong to think so. A m a can be tagged onto a sentence to express surprise. A m a toy s p i a euro he's sleeping. Degree one fourth. A euro you don't say, really. Plus or minus a euro the most common particle. It can be used to strengthen a statement or, sometimes. To indicate derision of an opinion, aided by the tone of voice, Kaji me, be a euro tell me, Takali, be, a euro is that so, Viarno li, be, a euro you don't say. One half degree a euro is a universal affirmative tag, like isn't it slash won't you, etc. It can be placed almost anywhere in the sentence. And does not always require a verb. S H T E Deutsch, Nelai. A euro you are coming, aren't you? Nelai is keha. A euro didn't they want to? Nelai onzi. A euro that one, right? It can express quite complex thoughts through simple constructions. A euro nelai ni amache. A euro I thought you weren't going to. Or I thought there weren't any. N. Degree superscript 1 a euro come on, let's, e.g. haid, po barzo a euro faster. Kakov chovek. A euro what person, kakov chovek e toy, a euro what sort of person is he, ne poznavam takuf a euro I don't know any, nia kakvi hora a euro lit. Some type of people. But the understood meaning is a bunch of people I don't know. Vis yakak vihora a euro all sorts of people. Kakaf is cash. A euro which type do you want? Nakakaf, 
a euro I don't want any, slash none. Kakva ita ya ta kava edna niya kakva ni kakva, inferred translation a euro what kind of no good person is she, literal translation, what kind of a euro is a euro this one here a euro this sort of a euro one a euro some sort of a euro no sort of. Takova ti shapkata a euro I did something to your hat, Takova si okalata a euro I did something to my glasses, Takova se a euro I did something to myself. I posle toy takovata, a euro and then he, Isia do ti takovata a euro I ate something of yours. Here the word takovata is used as a substitution for a noun. An euro and a euro thank you, from French, degree three fourth a euro by, from Italian, an euro a euro super, does decline as usual, three fourth a euro hello on the phone, from French, three fourth an n superscript two, a euro who are you, degree degree n, a euro how are you, degree degree n n, a euro how are you. Degree a euro yes, a euro no, three fourth plus or minus a euro maybe, degree degree superscript two three fourth n euro degree superscript two n, a euro what are you doing, degree degree superscript two three fourth n euro degree superscript two n, a euro what are you doing, three fourth plus or minus n euro and one fourth a euro i a euro trademark am fine. An n degree three fourth n plus or minus degree superscript two three fourth ha degree bavo a euro all the best three fourth n euro degree superscript two a euro regards degree superscript three three fourth degree n euro and a euro thank you three fourth n a euro please three fourth n a euro you're welcome superscript two one half n a euro excuse me. Superscript two one half and superscript two degree superscript one, a euro sorry, plus or minus and degree one fourth. N. A euro I love you, three fourth degree three fourth and degree N, a euro what's the time, three fourth superscript two three fourth and euro and a euro, a euro do you speak a euro? Bulgarian at Omniglet. Bulgarian Swadesh list of basic vocabulary words, the Bulgarian language a Euro website with material to learn Bulgarian, information about the linguistic classification of the Bulgarian language, the linguistic features of the Bulgarian language, information about the Bulgarian language from the Foible project, local data summary for the Bulgarian language from Unicode SCLDR. Eurodict a euro multilingual Bulgarian dictionaries, Reknik.info a euro online dictionary of the Bulgarian language, Rikko a euro online dictionary of the Bulgarian language, Bulgariana euro English a euro Bulgarian online dictionary from SA dictionary, online dual English a euro Bulgarian dictionary, Bulgarian dictionary, from Webster's dictionary. Bulgarian Bilingual Dictionaries, English, Bulgarian Bidirectional Dictionary Bulgarian for Beginners, Unilang